We are in Ghoul. I am now slow charging um, a Kia Soul EV. And this is a new version, the 30 kilowatt hour version. The old one had 27 kilowatt hour available. Uh, I'm not sure how much the new one has. I mean, the old one has 30.5 kilowatt hour total, and the new one, I think it was like 32, 33, something. <clears throat> but, you know, I want to do a range test. And we are now, uh, Ghoul is uh, about 200 meters higher than. Uh, Oslo so that is of course an elevation advantage but uh, to compensate for that I will not charge you 100% I'll probably stop at 97 or 98% um, because I calculated that the difference is about 3% in this car of course the consumption number will be slightly lower 3% lower but that is you know not too much <coughs> and I want to com like, compare this car to uh, the new i3 you know um, the i3 has 33 kilowatt hour or about 30 uh, available uh, Ionic only 28 kilowatt hour available, but the Ionic is way more efficient. This is very large and boxy, but I want to see how how much range this one has compared to some of the other rivals in the same price range. Um, <clears throat> and of course, uh, temperature is very cold. I mean, it's minus 12 degrees Celsius today, so uh, that is a slight disadvantage. We have almost no wind. So, uh, but the road is also a mix of dry and wet and some snow, ice, whatever. Yeah, so um, we'll see. I'm going to charge a little bit more, maybe to 98% and then off we go. All right, you know what? I let it charge to 100%. Well, it's still charging, but uh, well, it's 100% now. So we're gonna compensate for slightly uh, <laughs> kind of cold weather, minus 12 degrees Celsius. So most people, they won't drive in that much cold. They were maybe around zero. Uh, and also the heat pump is not very efficient in these temperatures. So, all right, 100%, uh, let's go then. Oh, look here, okay, it is still minus 12 degrees Celsius. We are cruising now, uh, slightly downhill. And uh, the Kia has this uh, power meter that shows you how much power it uses for various things. So, and the drive system uses about 10 kilowatt now, and you see climate takes one kilowatt. And the electronics is 0.2 kilowatt. So um, uh, climate is kind of high. And um, you know, one trick I could do is lower the fan speed a little bit, maybe. That should lower the climate, yeah. Um, power. And then if I switch on this thing, seat heater, electronics will go up, but not by too much. So I'm kind of like um, locally warming. Uh, where the driver is and then I also have the driver only setting on now so it will only heat up the driver area and keep the rest of the car colder so that will also save some energy so Ionic also has the same thing here so pretty much the same use interface and the same hardware uh, hmm, but wow, okay, I probably don't need three on the butt heater let's say uh, maybe one that should be enough yeah We have been driving for 13 minutes and uh, the consumption is still too high. Um, 183 watt hour per hour, I need to get it down to like 160. Hmm, so, uh, but I mean, uh, when we get closer to Oslo, it will be slightly warmer or less cold, yeah, how you could say it. So, um, yeah, we just have to wait until the consumption drops and hopefully it drops, right? Right? We have been driving for half an hour. Oh, we are getting close to floor and the consumption is still too high. Hmm, 185, okay. Uh, if we continue like this, we will get about 150 to 160 kilometers, or close to 100 miles. Hmm, so uh, I keep an eye on this one just for fun. Uh, yeah, I see power output, yeah, climate, uh, temperature is slowly rising, so uh, that means that the, the power to climate should also decrease. We are getting close to Hörnefoss. Uh, we've been driving for one and a half hours and covered over 100 kilometers. Uh, let's see. Uh, wow, 176. Hmm, not too bad. Uh, I wonder if we can match the other cars, uh, Ionic and uh, i3, and I guess the new e-golf. 
Uh, because they can do about 170, I guess, in winter. Hmm, you shall see. Uh, Oslo now, so we have done uh, 156 kilometers. Uh, the gun tells me I have 17 kilometers left, and according to navigation, we are 12.7 kilometers away. So, uh, do I dare to stretch it? Uh, not sure. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. What about the? Uh, okay, let me press the EV button here. So. Okay, so I have 11% stale charge left, uh, but you know what, I think I, will, I want to stop at Skøyen, yeah, just juice up there, I don't want to run it all the way to zero, so uh, it's an estimation anyway, so uh, Skøyen is about halfway, see here, uh, click on map again, Skøyen is over there, yeah, let's do that instead, uh, it's slightly safer, we could also stop here, uh, you see we have uh, for the charger here also, that seems a little bit busy, I know that Skyen has lots of them. And we can stretch it slightly more. <laughs> Alright, well, let's let this car go. Uh, well, I was gonna charge at Skyen, but it's just full house here. Oh, do they have any AC I can use? Is that AC? No, no AC! I mean, well, the ACs are blocked. Uh, well, let's keep going. Uh, let me see. So we are now uh, around yeah, Majorstuen, and uh, according to the navigation, we are 2.3 kilometers away from the destination. And I figured out that 1% is uh, 1.5 kilometers, so we should be good for 10, what, right, 9 kilometers. Yeah. So this, what is this gonna work? Yeah, I, th I think it's gonna work. <laughs> Uh oh, uh, I'm now in turtle mode. Oh no, this is a there's a turtle icon there. Five <laughs> percent. So at five percent, the turtle mode occurs. <gasps> All right, uh, let's just. Well, we're almost there now. <laughs> yeah, it was like a weird bump, and then uh, the the whole throttle response was changed. So I was like, oh shit, what happened now? And I still gonna keep going. Four percent. Yes, fight until the death. <laughs> oh yes, finally I'm back here. Oh, I have three percent left, <laughs> but it seems like you know, uh, yeah. Given some other uh, circumstances, you can probably do about 170 kilometers uh, in winter. So that is on par with the other EVs in the same class, like Ionic i3. Um, well, I haven't tested Zoe, the new one, uh, but at least e-golf, at least you know, the cars with DC fast charging that can compete with this. So, um, well, not too bad, yeah. Hmm, you know, I want, now I feel like testing some other cars. Or maybe if you guys have any ideas, like you know, what kind of winter, well, it's winter now, you know, so I have to do a winter range test. So which car should I test? Hmm, yeah, just leave a comment, please, and then uh, talk to you guys later. Yeah, bye-bye.